All right, folks, what I want to do is uh, do a little bit of a, a kit load out because there ain't enough of them. Um, but literally, this one is just to do with the overnighter that I did down at the beach. Um, I basically used the um, I used the Foxtrot harness from uh, Heli Context and I used the Steuben so I wanted to see what they were like together, what to, how, how, how I wore it and such like and uh, I must say it was actually a good bit of kit so uh, what I'm going to do is just give you a quick uh, gear load out of the extra stuff that I bought I'm not going to go through the gear that's in the Heli Context literally the only extra thing I bought was another bottle of fuel it was a second bottle of fuel so I had two um, so I had two bottles that fitted in the Vargo. You'll also see in the main video or in the main part that I've got an actual another bottle of fuel as well. And the only reason why I bought the extra fuel was because, as I say, a um, bit of a, um, a shortage of wood immediately in the area. So um, I had to sort of go off and forage, managed to get myself a bit of an oak branch, just to have a little bit of a fire last night. Um, but as I say, I bought extra fuel just to sort of cover my um, cover my backside, as it were. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. Right, so I'm gonna be out of the picture. Um, so this is basically, on top of what I had in the Helicon, in the Foxtrot pack, this is obviously what I had inside the Steuben. All right, so um, lighting-wise, I had, um, uh, what you call it, this is a Goal Zero torch, um, head torch, and then I also bought my, uh, the little Yuko, the little Yuko one as well. Covered in sand <laughs> because obviously when the tarp went there, the poncho went down, everything collapsed. But a natty bit of kit there, just to sort of uh, I had it as a glow going all night, really. And this one obviously is the one that fits inside the uh, the silicone sleeve, just keeps it a bit sort of a uh, bit more protected, I suppose. Um, so that's me light and covered. Notebook and pencil. I had a spare little pouch there. Um, I'm just I'm not going for anything in particular really that was just a, a, a chopping board that was gifted to me um, from Ty um, guy out in Mississippi over the, over in America um, I don't know if you can see that but I obviously got the grail as well if I needed any water obviously I wouldn't be taking seawater but there is some there is a water source sort of behind me if I needed it but lucky enough I didn't um, let's put that down now baby bag okay um obviously bringing the bivy bag being in a location where i was it's very damp it was very foggy last night so obviously that just kept the sleeping bag and my uh, sleeping system a little bit uh, more moisture free than if i didn't have it all right my good old mat um you know this is the one from decathlon four class air structure great bit of kit um in there was my snug pack sleeping bag. In there was my um, Helicon Tech Swagman. I also always keep the older, you know, spare socks, pillow, and a hat in there for, for bedtime. Um, rations, as I say, there's an extra um, bottle of fuel. I also bought my little Kapilka little shot cup, and the reason being is because I bought a couple of bottles of uh, of um, one of cinnamon whiskey and one of bourbon that. Um, that uh, Ty had gifted me, uh, two fire lighting kits. Um, that stropping board was um, gifted to me from a guy, uh, Rob, Old Ways Bushcraft on Instagram. Uh, we did the uh, we did a couple of courses together. Um, we did the 48 hour challenge and we also did the hunt and gatherer course. And over the time we've been sort of, um, you know, touching base and communicating, I've been sending him stuff out to where he lives. And, uh, and he gifted me that quite recently. Um, in there is just some fat wood and such like. This is one of our little Mac Tartwads pouches, just something that you stick in your pocket. Um, my ground sheet, I didn't use the ground sheet because um, it wasn't that bad really when I set up. So I literally just put the uh, bivy bag down and then stuck everything inside the bivy bag. So I didn't use the ground sheet. My little buck knife, I used that just for a bit of food prep. I recently bought one of them telescopic bellows. I was reluctant about buying one because I've always said that I just like to use the key hut of the lanyard hole on my knife. But um, uh, Dean uh, Wanderer Essex, who's on Instagram, he actually sort of mentioned it to me, and I actually did. I've sort of bit the bullet and purchased one. 
And as it goes, it's a new bit of kit. I've only used it a couple of times. It came into its own last night, and it's one of those sort of car aerial types with the little rubber bit on the end there so you don't burn your mouth. At least you can get into the heart of the fire and get it going. So, yeah, pocket bellows. Um, yeah, good old duct tape. Um, little scarf there, orange one, and it's also got the instructions on it. A good old toilet kit. Um, because I have Rosie with me, I obviously have to bring some um, some uh, dog food for her and uh, maybe some emergency food for me. I don't know, but I can't even stand the smell of it. Um, just this nice simple plastic plate and a little bit of leather just to sort of lay down for me if I'm using it, if I put a hot pot in my lap. All right, then in the age of technology, okay. Um, obviously this is where I put all my charge kits and all that sort of stuff in there so it just keeps it all nice and tidy out of the way um, and then I've just got a, a down jacket okay that I just stuffed in there just to uh, you know obviously I didn't need to wear it because it wasn't really that cold and then um, and then I suppose finally really is the top that you see me wearing is one of the Helicon Tex um, wind runners I've got two of these now uh, well I've had them for quite a while actually I've had the, uh, the the black one that I use for running I've had that since about uh, I don't know January February this year uh, still going strong superb bit of kit for wearing for um, for when I'm running and obviously this one I wanted to keep separate uh, for just sort of uh, coming out in, in you know sort of coming out into 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 the woods or doing something like what I'm just doing now um, again a nice little top all right oh and then finally i suppose is the old uh, got the old mechanics there um but i had them attached with one of those little max Edition sort of tidies there with the hook on it and it literally was when i needed the gloves um they were literally there so i could obviously get to them if i needed them in a in an emergency the only i in an emergency if i needed them for anything sort of any wood handling um i suppose bringing a i, I bought a pole as well this is an out kit one I literally bought this just to use as for part of my uh, suspension system for my um, for my shelter. And then the last thing finally is a pair of gloves. All right, these are obviously for you know picking up the hot stuff, stop me ears from getting burnt. All right, so there it is, folks. So um, I'll put a little uh, I'll put a little list if people are interested in what I brought, and then I had it all go, I had it all um, sort of uh, all sort of packed away into the good old Steuben. Alright, so that's what I had. So it was obviously that, and then obviously you might have seen, you know, when I showed the uh, Helicontex video, or when I was out on one of the trips not long ago, I showed you some of the gear that I had in there, and nothing's changed other than that. Alright, so uh, back in, um, when I did the, uh, back in sort of February this year, myself, um, Barney, um, Chris, Wilderness Nomad, and John, John Martindale, all um all good mates of mine um when we were out um doing our little day sack challenge back in sort of february early february when it was you know it was quite cold um and i just used the steuben and i packed all my gear into the steuben i did a little i did a little gear load out you know going it sort of you know sort of coining the phrase desmuck and all the rest of it um i had a i had a sort of a, a comment on there from someone that said that um, that I edited, the, I edited the video in such a way that I made it look like that I got everything inside the rucksack. Um, I couldn't really make it any clearer than what I did. Um, and to be brutally honest, my, you know, whoever, if you sort of know my editing skills, if I was that sort of good, flipping heck, I'd be Steven Spielberg. So, um, so what I'm going to do is all that gear that's there. You know, for, for the sarky individuals out there that think I might be sort of pulling the fast one, I'm now going to show you me putting it all into the Steuben rucksack just to sort of cover my arse. So I'm just going to keep the camera running. Oh, good old Steven Spielberg prowess. And I'll show you what I've done. Oh, the only other thing I did bring is a book, but I didn't read it. I'm not going to show the book because um, I want to do that as part of my um, of the next book sort of thing. So, right. So the ground shape. Okay. Bivy back. 
Look, Pat's there. Oh, I'm not going to describe everything, folks. You're not, si you're not that, s you're not, you're not silly, are you? makes it so much easier are these pouches as well that Dave makes because they're such a, they're such a shape and size that they're easy to make use of the space that's inside your ruck, you know inside the rucksack uh, what I'll do is while I'm here Good old meatball pasta for breakfast. So I'll take that out now because I'm going to need it. And squeeze it in now. The jacket goes in loose. Give me a lot of sun. Okay. Brow bottle. Side pouch there. Chopping board fits perfectly in the front of that stuben there. A little stopping board. <coughs> Gorilla taping now. A little uh, orange. Right. Then box on fuel bottle. Oh, a little shop cup, a little shop cup, gloves. And the rest of the bits go in the top there. Covered his sand. <laughs> uh, all the will in the way. Nice now. Alright. Oh, I forgot my U coat. That was in there as well. Gloves. Alright, and then what I normally do now. Just open that at the front. And what I'll do is I'll slide the plate and the little leather thing, the little leather pad on the front there, like so. Push it in a little bit. Now, don't get me wrong, you know, it's packed pretty tight. Oh, and then obviously my charges will go in as well. All right, they squeeze in there like so. And that's job jobbed, folks, right? So, uh, you know, I, I just don't really know how I can make it sort of anymore. This is just one continual video of me packing that stubing up. All right, just to give you an idea, folks. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not bull crapping. If you're a regular watcher of the channel, you know what I'm like. I don't sort of hide anything. I'll show you everything. I'll show it all because it's good to show the failures. Right, humanizes everything all right so there it is folks all right it's all in now okay can i be any clearer than that who knows 